Hello, TikTok. You're doing an energy healing session today, asking the universe to please put this in the path of people who are ready to receive some healing energy. Hello, hello, it's lovely to have you here. Doing an energy healing session today. How are we? Hello, Aries guy. I'm a fellow Aries, it's nice to have you here. Hello everyone, hello, welcome to the healing. It's lovely to have you here. It's lovely to connect with your energy today. How are we all feeling? How are we all going? Are you feeling cold? Well, it is pretty rainy outside. And Tasmania does tend to be cold, so yes. Hello, John. Kia ora, Jace. Nice to see you again. How do I pronounce my name? Hey, Dr. Kevlar. Ah, um, so it's Jalali Thane. That's my last name. You're stressed? No. There we go. Hello. Hello, everyone. It's lovely to connect with your energy today. So you just bring in some nice high vibrational chi. You're from Tasmania? Nice. Where are you? I'm in Hobart. Hello Jim, nice to see you. Hi Dr. Kevlar, yeah. I've been told that, it's really it's such a compliment. There we go. Thank you for the rose, thank you. There we go. Hello. Hello, it's lovely to connect with your energy today, everyone. Thank you, Cricky Lynn. Oh, Tammy, thank you so much. I love seeing your comments. Happy soul, thank you so much for the rose. Very good, consenting Jim. Just make sure that you're in a nice, open place to receive some new energy today guys and gals and be friends hello monica it's lovely to have you here here we go of course you can dr kevlar i recently added um a few things for my subscribers. Thank you, John, that's kind. So you can ask me a question or request a healing during the lives. Hello, Amandeep, thank you. Very good, Katie. Thanks for, for liking um, the live, guys. It helps the algorithm deities to be pleased and the healing reaches more people. So I'm very grateful. Kia ora, Lisa. Lovely to have you here. Thank you for the rose, Lucy. Thank you for the heart. Yeah, Katie, I'm, I'm glad it's popped up for you. <laughs> Puppet show performance. <laughs> no, I mean... It's probably not what I specialize in. If you have any, uh, <laughs> a puppet show, of course you would. You're such a jokester. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Um, <laughs> yeah, any requests for, for healing? Um, any questions that you might want to ask your, your spirit guides, your spirit? <sighs> Thank you, Beth then I can definitely do that. I do try and get to everybody. Ali Cat, thank you so much for subscribing. Please let me know if you have a question or you would like a healing for something specific. Hi, Jim. Hi, Jim. Hello. Ooh. 
Hello everyone. It's lovely to connect with your energy. Just make sure you're in a nice open space to receive some new high vibrational chi into your magnetic field. Okay. Hello. Hello. Heart healing. Yeah. Thank you, Blue Sea. Thank you for the rose. Hello, Michael. A bit too early for Kung Fu. It's never too early for Kung Fu. Hail Satan. Thanks for the roses. <laughs> Cracks me up. There was that sound for a while. It's like, Belial, Behemoth, Beelzebub. That was amazing. I got so into it. I would like sing it under my breath. I'm like that's all well and good if you're at home alone, but Ooh, a Reiki practitioner. Hello, you are very welcome here, Beth. Ah, uh, no, I'd say Reiki and Chi are essentially the same thing. We just have maybe slightly different um, beliefs about it, maybe. There are so many different types of chi, Lucy, for teething. For teething. Okay. There we go, Lucy. I hope that helped. Thank you, Abby. That's very kind. Tammy, an ice cream for me. Thanks. We feel relaxed. That's lovely. You're welcome, Lucy. I'm glad it helped. Seeing the footballs makes me so happy. Little footballs come up. <laughs> Psychological healing. Mm. Yeah, all right. There we go. Sh -sh the nervous system bring it back to a state of balance please there we go that's better a football oh thanks donut oh thank you thank you for the gifts guys thank you and for liking the live it helps spread the healing to more people Ah, oh, that's awesome, Parmesan person. You pass all your exams. Well done. Exams are so stressful. I hate them. Why blue? Because blue is very calming. Um, all, all, everything has a vibration, okay? Numbers, colors. Blue is a very calming light, and it's very good for calming the nervous system down. Thank you for the roses, Vicky. Yeah, you need it. Oh, Stregonauta, I'm so glad that the ADHD healings have helped. Um, yeah, I'll definitely do more stuff like that. I don't have ADHD myself. Uh, my brother does, and he struggled with it a lot. But, um, yes, I have had pretty bad PTSD in the past, and a lot of the symptoms overlap, so I very much empathise with the struggles. There we go. Thank you for following. Thank you so much. Thank you for liking. Thank you for being here and being open to this healing energy today. Anxiety healing. Yeah. I'm just going to take this jumper off. It's actually quite warm. Oh. And then my gym clothes. 
If you ever meet me in person, I'm usually in gym clothes. <laughs> All right. Okay. Healing for anxiety, please. A wave of calm, please. Resetting the nervous system. Bringing in some high vibrational energy to wash away any worries you have. I'm going to do a plucking session that's going to pull away some negative energy. I just want you to think or comment about what you're releasing. What are you releasing? What is no longer serving you? And let it go. That's nice. I'm glad you're relaxed. Amen. Just think about what you're releasing. What is no longer serving you? Put it on the screen. Think it to yourself. Thank it for the wise teacher it has been. Okay? All of our experiences here our teachers, but you don't need it anymore and we're letting it go. Well done. Very good guys. Very good. You don't need it anymore. It's coming out of your energetic, out of your energetic frequencies here. Just cleansing the aura. Asking it to be transmuted, please. Back into love and into light. Oh, that's better. I can feel the energy shift. That's nice. I'm not married. <laughs> this is the wrong hand. I know it um it uh, shows up, but yeah, no, this is the marriage one. I did um promise my mother I wouldn't marry anyone on the internet though. Sorry. <laughs> For PTSD, absolutely, okay? So PTSD is usually held in the root chakra, okay? Responsible for feeling safe um, and grounded to reality. So we can definitely help you feel safe and grounded, potentially release some stored negative emotion, okay? That's holding you back. Just get ready please. We're going to pluck it away now. These can be intense. You are perfectly safe throughout this healing. You're perfectly safe. You're fine. You're doing just fine. You're doing really well. You're so loved. You're so loved. That's it. Just releasing it. You don't need it anymore. You've learned your lessons and you're actually ready to stop learning through suffering. You are ready to learn through joy. Okay. No more suffering. We are down learning through suffering. Jessica, thank you for subscribing. It really helps me out, guys. Ooh, a mini speaker. Thanks. Thank you for the follows and likes, everyone. It's lovely to connect with your energy. Thank you for the gifts. Thank you. Some beautiful energy coming through you guys I can feel it oh it's wonderful oh yeah Lovely. Thank you for the anxiety healing. You're welcome. Thank you for the gifts, everyone. Thank you. Good morning, Willow. Jessica from New Zealand. Hello, you're very welcome. Dr. Strange, that is a very high compliment. I'll take that. Thank you very much. 
If you're interested in a one-on-one -on -one session, guys, if I don't get to everybody's requests, um, I do take private clients. Oh, thank you. I feel so special. It's a pleasure, the PTSD. It's no fun. <laughs> Panic disorder. Yeah, let's just calm. Ro, it's very similar to Reiki. This is called chi healing. Thank you, Mukun. That's very kind. <laughs> Your cat likes my, loves my voice. That's so nice. Willow, that's awesome. I'm, I'm, I hope to see you uh, there. Well, I, I will, I will see you there. <laughs> I have a group healing this Sunday, Australian time. There's plenty of spaces left if you feel called to. It's only eleven dollars to join. You get to keep a 60 minute recorded healing from me, personalized for your energy, the group's energy. Oh, thank you, Mukund. That's very kind. Yeah, Lady Kins, I think. Didn't believe in it, but you can feel it relaxing you. Yes, I was the same. I received it and I was like, Then I learnt how to do it, and I was like, whoa. I'm so glad you feel better, Mary Helen. That's awesome. Hello, hello. Welcome to the healing. Imogen, some sleep and relaxation. I've seen a lot of people mention insomnia as well. Yeah, absolutely, we can do that. Spirit, can we help them relax and get restful sleep, please? There we go, feeling the shift. That's nice. That's better. I hope that helped. How did I learn about this? Well, I received energy healing a couple of Februarys ago now, after a little traumatic incident, and um, I went in quite unwell, and I came out completely different, like myself again. So I was like... And I received it from my acupuncturist. You're welcome, Imogen. I hope it helped. Yeah, so my acupuncturist does, well, acupuncture, but also energetic healing. And um, I, I learned from him. And then I just practiced a lot. Francesca, thank you. That helped, thank you, that's awesome. <laughs> Thanks, sweeter, after difficulty. Yeah, if you subscribe, um, you get a lot of derpy emojis of me making dumb faces, like, my favourite pictures to take. Hear more about 5D, huh? Mm. Are you doing any pulling this evening? We can definitely do pulling. Alright. Think about what's no longer serving you, please. Hello. Very well, thank you. How are you? Just inputting some nice protective energy into your into your aura. There we go. 
suggests yes it can help with the symptoms of depression okay depression is this uh, state of mind that we get in and it's a very complicated illness I'm generalizing a lot it's an individual diagnosis every time it's different for everybody but it tends to be this um this tendency to live in the past you know? um, and anxiety tends to live in in the future so we worry about the future or we're ruminating on the past and we're never in the present moment the present moment is all that exists Thank you, sweeter, after difficulty. You're doing a great job modding. It does help migraine, yeah, it really does. I've got a few healings dedicated to migraine on my page. No problem, thanks. You have a tightness in your heart. Ah. You have a blockage in your heart chakra. This area here, yeah? Right. This is just removing any blockages, any negative energy you may have been holding on to, that you've picked up from people, places, and things. Yes, it does help with the symptoms of ADHD. There we go. That's better. Thank you for the rose. Oh. It's my pleasure to be a conduit of healing. It's my job. It's my job. Oh, thank you so much for the garland. Thank you. <laughs> oh. Yeah, your dog might be releasing some negative energy. <laughs> thank you for the finger hearts. Thank you, Alexandra. All right, I can see a lot of... um requests for healing thank you so much sean i will prioritize people who are subscribed okay but the wonderful thing about chi healing or reiki or whatever you would like to call it is that uh, it's an individual process your spirit guides are overseeing this act of healing and are sending the energy to where you need it the most Oh, thank you, Laddiekins. I um, I do enjoy playing around with eyeshadow. What's my sign? I am an Aries, a Leo rising, and a Capricorn moon. The soreness in your thighs disappeared. That's great. Oh, thank you, Cat Bevy. Thank you for the finger heart. Thank you so much, everyone. It's a pleasure to connect with your energy. Thank you for the likes. You're doing very well. You can feel the energy, yes. Hello Aries, yay. Where am I from? I'm from Australia, but my dad was Iranian, my mother is English, and I am from all over the place. Lived in a lot of different countries. <laughs> there we go. It's lovely to connect with your energy, everyone. 
Well done for being here. Healing is hard work. It is. It is a true pleasure and honour to be a conduit for you. And to help bring you back into a state of calm and balance. There we go. You're half Turkish, half Scottish. Nice. Where do I live? I live in Tasmania at the moment. I am moving to Melbourne. If, uh, <laughs> if anybody in Melbourne needs a new housemate, hit me up. <laughs> You live near Melbourne. Nice. Thank you, Ms. Jim. You need a new housemate in Adelaide. Lol. Sadly. Sadly not. Wouldn't have guessed Taswegian. Oh, thanks, Ms. Jim. Um, I live in Hobart. More close to Hobart. There we go. That's nice. Yeah, I'm so looking forward to living in Melbourne. I think I'm, uh, I think I'm really going to enjoy it. I think it's my vibe. Chris, that's amazing. It's helping your ADHD. Maritz, it can help skin problems. Yes. So it can help reduce inflammation. And if you have a really bad breakout, um, there, like, I, I truly believe that there is a spiritual reason behind every disease so we can heal that we can heal that might need a private session okay this is a general healing but um yeah please check the, the link in my bio could i cure dandruff potentially it depends what's causing it like i'm a very firm believer that energy healing can be used to heal anything and everything, but you can't ever guarantee results, okay? First time here from the Philippines. Lizzie, all the information for private sessions is in the link in my bio. It's um, 222 Australian for an hour. I do have a group healing on Sunday that is $11. Australian for 90 minutes. Name a few places I have lived. So I've lived in Istanbul. I have lived in England in a small town called Stamford. I've lived in Vientiane in Laos. I've lived in Walkworth, New Zealand. I've lived in Bourg-en-Bresse in France. DJ Chantos, thank you for the roses. And I have lived in Tasmania, Australia. Hello from the US. Hello. It's lovely to have you here. It's lovely to connect with your energy. Yeah, I am fairly well traveled. I'd like to do more traveling. With COVID, it just, uh, Osman, I'd love to come to Scotland. It looks beautiful. I've got family there. Which was my favorite of, I mean, I love Istanbul. Such a wonderful city. Would I choose to live there full time? Probably not. I, uh, I get a bit overwhelmed in big cities. Mama B, deep breaths. You are safe. You're probably releasing some old energy that's been sitting in your magnetic field for a long time. Okay, but you are perfectly safe. Let me just calm anxiety, please. There we go. Hello, Dawn. Hello. 
What is the name of this technique? This is chi healing. Hello from Indonesia. Hello. How did I make a living? Well, I was a child, so I scabbed off my mother. <laughs> what books do I like reading? I love fantasy, science fiction, fantasy. I've tried to read classics. Just does not get me going the same way. Harry Potter basically taught me how to read. Thank you for the gifts. Thank you. From Toronto. I am from Australia, yes. It's very similar to Reiki. Thank you for the roses. I can see a lot of people have individual requests. I can't get to you all, but this is a general healing. If you have something you'd like to work on, please do book me for a private session. But for now, I want you to repeat after me, okay? I call upon my spirit guides. Acting in my highest interest. Please be with me now. Help direct this new flow of vital life force energy to where I need it the most for my greatest healing, for my highest vibrational good. Thank you, and so it is. As above, so below. There we go. That's nice. How much for a private session? I am 2.22 an hour in Australian dollars. All the details are in the link in my bio. Thank you. Thank you for the gifts. It's very kind. Thank you. For those asking about the price, all the details are in the link in my bio. Can you achieve Goku's new form with this? <laughs> totally, man. <laughs> oh, Goku's jacked. Lincoln bio. Yeah, Reiki, I don't know. Um, I've always been encouraged to use my intuition more. Reiki, um, I have done Reiki 1 and 2. And I've been attuned, but um, it, it doesn't really resonate with me, to be honest. I channel very uh, high vibrational frequencies. I've connected with a few different entities up there who want to provide healing for you all. Thank you, Sweeter After Difficulty. What's your actual name, by the way? I don't know your name. This lovely man has been following me. I think he was the first person to comment on one of my videos. I don't know his name. Wade, thank you. Ah, if you want to learn energy healing, then I highly suggest you start doing Qigong. This is a ancient Chinese spiritual practice. There's a lot of wonderful routines on YouTube. Thank you for following me everyone. I'm about to hit 80,000 followers which is utterly wild. <laughs> I'm very, it's an exciting time. I'm so happy that the healing energy is being shared with so many people. It's my, it's my whole reason for incarnating. Hello from Germany, wonderful you're here. If you keep seeing my videos on on your FYP, it's highly likely the universe is placing them there, in your path, so you have the option to undergo some healing. 
you're currently learning Reiki. I think Reiki is a wonderful base to start off with, but always follow your intuition. Engage in medic medication, meditation. <laughs> thank you, Sharon, for the football. And thank you for liking the live, everyone. It means a lot. You're feeling this in your sacral chakra because you have a blockage there and that's where the energy needs to go. Thank you, universe, yes. From Uganda, hello. Thank you, Shalala, that's really kind. Ooh, little footballs. I hope TikTok keeps the footballs feature for, for a longer time. They're so cute. <laughs> Thank you, Casey Michelle. Thank you for the gifts. Thank you so much. All right, let's do some plucking. Egypt is here. Mm. First time from Vancouver. Hello, welcome. There we go. Thank you. Thank you so much for liking the live, guys. It helps me out. Don't forget to drink water. <laughs> What's plucking good for? Removing negative energy. <sighs> Just recycling it now. That's better. And feel the shift. Don't forget to drink water. It helps deepen the healing. <laughs> well, the likes are going great. Yay. Hi from Liverpool. Hello. I'm a Capricorn moon. Okay. If you would like some healing energy all you need to do is say I accept and you will receive some healing energy thank you for the likes everyone thank you so much yes I will take your spaghetti <laughs> You're feeling this in your <laughs> nice <laughs> spaghetti stealer. That that comment, whoever made that comment, oh my god. Perfect comedy. <sighs> That's wonderful. Accepting the nice new energy entering your auric field. Thank you, thank you so much. From Poland, hello, welcome. Hello everyone, hello. Thank you for the gifts. Thank you for liking the live. It helps me out. Hello from Ukraine. We are all standing in solidarity with you. Just like we're standing in solidarity with the people of Iran. Everywhere that's struggling. Sent weights. Nice. <laughs> Thank you for the gifts. How do I clear my own energy? That's a great question. I uh, engage in a lot of cleansing practices. I do a lot of Qigong. I have wonderful spirit helpers who help keep my energy nice and healthy. I try and eat properly. I try and exercise. I try and sleep well. And I try not to engage in too many recreational uh, nighttime activities. <laughs> sleep well, Errol. Thank you for being here. Thank you guys, 
that's so sweet. Yes, they do. I don't really know any Reiki symbols. All the stuff that I draw just kind of comes into my head. Ella, what's my diet like? I try and fill it with lots of vegetables and fruits. But you know, like I'm on my period right now, so I'm eating a lot of chocolate. Like I don't, I'm not too strict with myself. I do know there's a big change in my energy if I just eat a lot of junk food though. <laughs> Thanks, Callisto. <laughs> it is normal to feel sleepy, yeah. There we go. Yeah, the chocolate. It happens. It's okay. You're on your period too. Commiserations. <laughs> I'm glad it's helping, you see. Thank you, Andrew, that's really sweet. Thank you, everyone. There's some lovely energy in this chat today. Thank you, I love my rings. Marissa, that's amazing. I'm so glad. I don't have a YouTube channel yet. I am, um, I've actually, I've made one, but there's nothing on it. Jen, thank you for subscribing. Welcome. If you have a particular request for healing or you'd like me to draw a card for you, please let me know. I'd be happy to do that. Can I sense bad presences on people and can I expel that energy? Yes and yes. I tend to try and stay away from people like that. Although it's hard to avoid sometimes, especially if you're working with them. That's a whole thing. Kyla, yes, I do draw cards for free, but um, I do prioritize my, my subscribers. And of course I do oracle card readings, if you would like one. Does it feel different to heal a group on TikTok versus one-on-one? -on -one? Absolutely, yeah. So I'm, there's like about 700 people here right now. So that's a very collective energy. I feel very general stuff, but nothing very specific. I don't tune into individual people's energy because it would get very overwhelming. Um, a one-on-one -on -one I'm able to dive quite deep into their Akashic record. Yeah. Sorry, I'm reading comments. Gut healing. Ooh. Ask your spirit guides to direct your the new energy to where you need it in your gut. So it shall be. Thank you. Does it feel in person versus online? I suppose in person is a little bit more more physical, but anyone sufficiently advanced enough, there's no real difference. Holistic therapist, I'm very glad you're here. It's lovely to have a colleague. Princess Leah, thank you so much. Thank you. My Insta is on my profile.
I am very clairsentient, yeah. Your name's Aoife. Oh. Irish? Mmm, yeah, the Akashic records are crazy. Thank you, Sean. I have the ability to um, tap into people's records and see their past lives and their various traumas picked up by the different traumas throughout your, your lifetime. You're absolutely Irish. We love to see it. Thank you for the likes, guys. We're almost at 100k, which is really lovely. I'm from Tasmania. Eric, that's lovely. Well done to your an angels and your ancestors. <laughs> Thanks, holistic therapist, Aoife. Mm. How can we connect to spiritual guidance? Ah, meditation. Meditation is the best way. Hello, Daniel. Hello, everyone. It's lovely to connect with your energy. Cloudy day. I'm not doing individual readings right now. Um, if you'd like a card pulled or, or something, we can do that. But that, yeah. I would do that in a one-on-one -on -one session for you. Charlie from France, bonjour. Ça va bien? Do I have a meditation routine or schedule? Yeah, so I try and meditate every day. I try and do Qigong every day, or at least one. Thank you. I've always had very developed traps. Played a lot of violin doing this like hours and hours. That, but oh, I can do a thing. Hang on, hang on. I'll, I'll show you. <laughs> oh my god. This. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> back to the healing. <laughs> uh, thanks, Talia. Receive energy in your joints, yeah. I do lift, I do. Oh, thank you, Aoife, that's really sweet. I did just flex. I've only gotten back into the gym the last few weeks or so, but I'm one of those really annoying people that just puts on muscle very quickly. Yay. <laughs> thank you, Talia, that's really kind. Thank you for the likes, guys. Any daily meditation recommendations? Ooh. Well, if you're new to meditation, you don't need to, to do it for very long. Just five minutes a day. Fellow Tasmanian here, hello. Welcome, welcome to the healing. Thank you, I like my flag too. Gotta to represent. I have I've been asked to do ASMR a lot. <laughs> I don't I don't really know like how. I'm just like considering reading my book on esoteric acupuncture to you all softly. <laughs> yeah, um YouTube is wonderful for meditation. If you're really serious about meditation and you want to learn about what you can do with your consciousness, The Gateway Experience by Bob Monroe. It will change your life. Honest Guys YouTube's wonderful. Hello. Yes to ASMR reading. Okay, I will give it a go. Um, when can I do it? I can do it tonight. I'll do it at like 8 or 9 p.m. tonight. And I'll, I will make a, uh, a regular live schedule, guys. I'm sorry, I'm a bit all over the place at the moment. What's my favorite book? The Time Traveler's Wife by Audrey Niffenegger. <laughs> you like it when Reiki healers rub their hands together? Yes. 
activating the energy. EFT tapping is incredible. Definitely try it out. How did I become interested in spirituality and energy healing? Well, I was a complete skeptic up until a couple of years ago. Thank you for the rose. Thank you for the gifts, everyone. Um, and then I had a, a bad thing happen. I went to see my acupuncturist and Daniel, yes, I can. I can see someone's path. It's people have certain blueprints for their soul and you can kind of just see it walking along. But yes, um, so I had an energy healing and I came out like feeling completely different and I was like, Um, yeah, that was basically like my general state of mind for a few months. <laughs> um, oh, thank you. And I got read. I read a lot. I read a lot. I started doing a lot of meditation. <laughs> nice one. Nice one, weird. We love. We love spreading the healing energies here. What books? Journeys Out of the Body by Robert Monroe was the first one. Um, if you're interested specifically in energy healing, Hands of Light, a guide to healing through the human energy field by Barbara Ann Brennan. It is the most comprehensive uh, explanation of how healing energy works throughout time and space. She's a, she was a NASA physicist, okay, so she knows what she's talking about, turned energy healer. If you're really interested and you want like the Bible, basically, um, that is, that's the one to purchase, guys and gals and envy friends. You're intrigued, Victoria. It's a wonderful book. Yeah, nice Callisto. That's great. Hands of Light by Barbara Ann Brennan. What sort of music do I like? Do I like? I have very differing tastes of music. Um, I played a lot of classical music when I was younger in orchestra. I played violin to quite a high level, so I, I love my classics. But you know, I also love, you know, um, what's it called? Like psy trance stuff. That's the stuff I'll listen to when I'm in the gym. Acid trance is amazing. I love it. Um, and then I have like fixations on certain bands. John Butler Trio is amazing. I've been listening to a lot of Slightly Stupid, which is amazing. How to do one-on-one -on -one sessions? Please see the link in my bio. EB, yes. Absolutely, we can explore your life path and we can see what challenges you uh you have in this in this life and then we can um we can give it some healing energy and help you move into a, a path of balance orchestra to acid trance yeah i listen to a lot of stuff Thank you, Elias. Daniel, I'd love to work one-on-one -on -one with you. Please see the link for a one-on-one -on -one session. I've got several available next week, if you're interested. You have a headache? Make sure you're drinking plenty of water. By art. Jenna how to reach me. The link is in my bio. You can always um, DM me on Instagram as well. I can't promise I'll get to your message, but I, I do endeavor to. Thank you for the gifts. Thank you.
Katie, that's totally fine. It's not understandable. Only subscribe if you have the extra energy to give, okay? Money is just energy. If you don't have a lot of it, I will never ever ask it of you. If you can help me, then that's very appreciated. But this is always going to be for free. Okay. Ella sent fairy bread. Thank you, fellow Ella. We're almost at 100k likes. Yay! Marissa, mm. protect your energy. It's very precious. Remember, people can't take your energy unless you let them. What is Tasmania like? It's very beautiful. It's uh, full of wonderful nature. Um, there is a lot of poverty here. Love to you as well, Marissa. Do I believe in twin flames? Yes. <laughs> They're fun. Right. Do we have big spiders? As big as my hand, okay? But if they're really big, they're pretty, they're pretty chill. It's like the slightly smaller ones that are really poisonous. Do I have any alien experiences? So I've connected with a few um, fifth density, fifth dimensional uh, collective entities from the Pleiades and from Arcturus <laughs> star systems. I lean upon their healing frequencies sometimes. 100K, yes, thank you so much for liking the live everyone. It helps me out. Explain the dimensions. Oh man, how much time do you have? <laughs> okay, the primary thing to understand about the dimensions is that you exist in every single one of them right now, okay? Uh, they are not a place that you should aspire to go. They are a perspective you have of reality. First dimension is like a, a point it's the it's the unity okay second dimension is the line third dimension is physical matter and it exists throughout time which is the fourth dimension but then you realize that you're not separate and that's the fifth dimension kind of i'm i'm rushing through them <laughs> so we exist mostly in like the one to five and then the architects of reality the archangels who create the third dimension and oversee the fourth, exist in the sixth. The seventh is, God, it's so hard to explain. It's, um, it's the void. It's very calm. It's very mystical, okay? It's a place where time and space don't exist. You're just floating in never ending, um, sea of of energy. The eighth is the Akashic Records. That's where it's like the giant store house, uh, the library of the universe. The ninth is creator, his source energy. Thank you, Iris. And then the ninth leads back to one, and the third leads to the eighth, and the sixth is all of them. It's, it's complicated. How many dimensions? Around nine, 12, depending on who you're talking to. Thank you, Shalala. They're very difficult to explain. Um, but yes, you are a multidimensional being. You exist in all of them all at once. You're just having a human experience right now. Do I do healing for nine years of relationship? Yes. Please see the link in my bio. You have an exam tomorrow. Good luck. Can 
Can I see the root cause of physical issues? I get information from your Akashic record and we can see why you're having problems. I can't guarantee any results. Thank you, Eric. <laughs> yes. If anybody is wondering like what you are, what we are, what our purpose is, our purpose is to come down here and experience reality. Okay? Experience our creation in this little meat puppet thing that our energy kind of sticks to it. We learn certain lessons for our spiritual growth. And then we go back to source and say, look what I did, look what I made, look what we made. Thank you, Roni. But yes, my guides explained it to me that, um, uh, so like source energy is like a sun, okay? It's a sun and the archangels, the architects of reality, they're like, they're like the, the, the rays, the rays of sun that come off the sun. And then we are like, like photons, okay? So we're sparks of this flame that is, that is the source. Some people call it God. Some people call it Allah. Some people call it Okashira. Taoists call it the path, the way. Thank you. Yeah, I'm very happy to answer any questions you may have about the dimensions or spiritual entities or aliens, whatever. I mean, I love talking about this stuff. I don't talk <laughs> about it in my um in my real life because not many of my friends are very spiritual <laughs> so it's nice to talk to strange people on the internet angels yes angelic beings mm. is there a book to read well there's so many there are so many <laughs> What? No, you're not. I'm just being... I'm just being silly. You're not really strange. You're lovely. Oh, thanks, Alison. Pain of rejection. Oh. Ground yourself. Realise it was probably for the best. And move on with your energy in your life. Hello, McKenna. Lovely to see you here. Encyclopedia of Angels is a great reference book. Hello. Richard Dawkins. No. If you really want a thorough explanation of how our universe works, Matthias to Stefano. He's got it. Matthias De Stefano, especially his uh, initiation series on Gaia. What just happened? I feel auras better than I see them. Yeah, Matthias is amazing. He really is. He's someone who remembers all of his past lives in very vivid detail. I remember a few of my past lives, but nothing like that. I have vague ideas, but I'm still discovering it for myself. Where do we go after we die? Okay, we go home. We go to... 
the astral realm, but the astral realm, like, there are levels, okay? It's not just, like, one place. There are uncountable layers of the astral realm. You tend to go... Like, there, there are so many different places in the astral realm, okay? Thank you for the rose, Cobb. Thank you. Um, you tend to go where you vibrate. So if you vibrate at a frequency of love, then you will go to places in the astral realm that are aligned with that frequency. If you are vibrating at a, a rate of fear or hatred or uh, like bigotry, if you're scared, you're going to go to places that vibrate at that frequency, okay? There's nothing to be afraid of as long as you are vibrating love. You can call him Sky Daddy, that's a great name. <laughs> Sky Daddy, save us. <laughs> oh dear. You go round and rebound until you get it right, pretty much, yeah. We all start off as young souls who have no compassion for others, who are very scared about anything that is different. And if you think about like communities like very, very evangelical Christians who hate the gays and they think that the devil exists in everything, they're very scared of anything that may be different. They're very young souls. We were all like that once. But we grow up. Do witches go to a certain area? What type of witch? Some people would say I'm a witch. I have been a witch in the past, in my past lives. If you are a witch that practices uh, healing magic, okay? If you are sending positive energy, you're going to go to a very beautiful place. If you are a witch that curses people, that sends out a lot of negative energy, you're accumulating a debt. And if you think that you're not, you are wrong. You're going to pay it back. Thank you for the gifts. You deaf are a witch, but in the worst way. Thank you. I certainly dabble. Yeah, no, I am... Um... Look, it's very tempting to curse people, okay? It is. Do you know how much I want to curse Iranian parliamentarians right now? My family's been brutalized by that regime. It's very tempting. But sending negative energy to a situation never helps. It just helps create more negativity. Do I know Jesus? Yes, I've connected with the Christ consciousness many times. It is a very loving, humorful energy. And he uh, helped bring the fourth... Um, the f he opened the fourth chakra here on, on Earth. He, ho he opened the, um, the love... Of, of the planet, okay? He was spreading love. He was a wonderful, he is a wonderful ascended master. Thank you so much for the gift. Amanda, that's amazing. Has Jesus reincarnated? Has Jesus reincarnated? No. Oh, okay. So, yeah, okay, so, um, this whole thing about the second coming, it's not one person, okay, it's all of us, all of us as a collective, as we raise our vibrational frequency, we will vibrate more at a rate of love and thus raise the planetary consciousness and we'll move into a new and more loving age on Earth. But this is not going to be a simple or easy process, there is a lot of cleansing that has to happen first and there's going to be a lot of suffering and a lot of souls will choose to leave because they're not ready. Does that make sense to you? It's the next milestone for our collective consciousness. Learning that war is pointless. <laughs> that killing and hurting is always wrong. We're still learning that. We're getting there. But we're learning. Thanks, Rick. Okay, Darian. Hell is... 
I really struggle with with it. Um, look, there are certainly places on the astral realm, okay, that resemble your typical Christian hell. There are. You don't have to go there. You send yourself there. You are your own judge, okay? You know. You know where to go. <laughs> the... Marissa, um, that's a... That's a great question. Can you leave the astral realm once you die? Or are you stuck there? Can you leave? Yeah, you can leave. You can connect with people here. But it's, it's not quite the same as, like, coming here. You can, like, tune in on, on people's energy. And some people's energy, especially if they die suddenly in a car accident or in violent circumstances, they can get stuck here. Thank you so much for the gifts, everyone. Am I healed? I'm certainly getting there. I'm what we call a wounded healer. I had a very intense dark night of the soul for about eight years. I was just trying to survive but I'm doing much better now. How do you grow your energy? Qigong. Your niece died like that. She will be okay. She will recover. Thank you, Sophia. I do offer private sessions. Please see the link in my bio if you'd like a private session. Michael, I'm not reading individual people's energies. Thank you, Abigail. There we go. Stop talking about Jesus with an LGBT flag in the background. Jesus is the energy of pure love. Okay. In all forms. And there is no restriction. You can love whoever you want, and Jesus is wholeheartedly behind that. The bigotry that is spread in his name is fear, okay? Jesus loves everyone, that's right. Thanks, Soaps. <laughs> Wounded healer. It's not mine, it's quite a common archetype. Thank you for the gifts. Thank you for the likes, everyone. <laughs> How did I learn about my past lives? Some memories started activating spontaneously as I was just going about my life. Um, I did a lot of past life regressions. I can now just like kind of go into a meditation and, and choose to, <laughs> to do that. But um, the, the times where it became the most um, clear was during a trip. Yes, that kind of trip. If you're in the right setting with the right people, with the right intent, it's very healing. Very welcome here, Rachel. Hello. Hello, everyone. <laughs> you need to poop. <laughs> okay, that's um, energetic release. If you want to raise your vibrational frequency, laugh more, eat better, and ground your energy. Vibrate love and joy at all times. Try and reject fear and shame and guilt. Okay? It's hard. Healing... It depends what you're healing, it's usually challenging, yeah. Because uh, we tend to try and run away from our emotions instead of dealing with them. How to get out of depression. Ground your energy and try and be present in, in this moment, in the passing time. Don't get distracted by what's happened in the past because it's over.
get a good therapist. How to ground your energy. Mm. Meditate, okay. Connect to the, to the earth, connect to nature. Go and walk outside. Feel the earth between your feet. How to exhaust anger that's raging. So anger is a solar plexus blockage, okay? It's excess energy in your stomach. There's a few things for anger. It depends why you're angry. Phoenix, you've cried a lot tonight. So energy healing can bring about release. Walk in the water, yes. There we go. Let's bring in a crystal helper. Thank you so much for the gifts. Deja vu is really interesting. I think it's like a little signpost that you are where you're supposed to be throughout your soul's um, journey. So before you incarnate down here, uh, you sit down with your spirit guides and you kind of plan out your life a little bit. A little bit there are like certain like forks that you can go and it veers off and it's so massive that it could never be written down on paper okay but um yeah so when you experience deja vu it's like oh yeah i remember agreeing to that you know does that make sense thank you for the gifts everyone what time is it it is just past 1 p.m Can sexual energy be healing? If you have trouble meditating, try listening to binaural beats and try practicing like just 10 minutes of qigong before you meditate because this will calm your body. This will calm your energetic system, your nervous system, okay? It will put you in a relaxed state of mind so that meditating, it's easier to quiet your mind. Yes, I'm doing qi healing. From Western Australia, hello. Oh, preparing your energy for, for a relationship. Um, you need to work through your own trauma, <laughs> your own, uh, you need to really identify where you have um, difficulties um, connecting with people and like properly communicating your wants and needs. You need to be in a healthy space to attract a healthy relationship. I do very firmly believe that. It's, uh, it's difficult and you can do the healing in the relationship. You can. It's just easier. Is chi different from Reiki healing? It's... So chi healing I find is a little bit more intuitive. Reiki is uh, holding like the hands and channeling the energy in certain positions kind of just staying there for a little while I kind of just go where the energy tells me to go hello everyone how are we all so much love to you wherever you are just know that you are very deeply loved in the higher realms that you are never alone with any of it okay you're interested in becoming an energy healer. That's wonderful. Start practicing Qigong. You'll develop your sensitivity to energy. Thank you, Phoenix. I'm so glad I started posting on TikTok. Marielle, it's a pleasure to answer your questions. I'm glad they're making sense to everyone. 
in Vegas. Ooh, so fun. Thank you for the likes, everyone. The little soccer balls are coming up just here. It's so cute. Like, it brings me joy. <laughs> I hope TikTok keeps the little soccer ball feature. Astral projection versus reality shifting. Ah, okay. So astral projection is the uh, is the act of your 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 energy, your soul, um, kind of leaving your body and going into the ether and going into the various dimensions and having a great time. Usually, hopefully, if you're ready, <laughs> it can be a bit freaky if you don't know what what's happening. Um, reality shifting is the idea that there are a lot of different timelines available to you and depending on what you choose you can go down one path or another. You can choose to align in your highest vibration if you follow the path of joy and love and operating from a heart space because that's when you're going to manifest your dreams but if you are operating from a place of fear, of anger, of of hatred then you are going to manifest those things instead in your life does that make sense to you for those asking whether i can help with manifestation absolutely i can what is our like goal today Let's see if we can get to 200k. Do I identify as a witch? I, I don't really practice that much witchcraft, I suppose. I would call myself a healer. I'm going to be an acupuncturist. I want to help people live in their highest vibrational frequency. Michael? Healing and beyond, thank you so much for the gift. It's lovely to see you on one of my lives. What are spirit guides like? Oh, that's a great question. So your spirit guides, I've been told that they are humans who have completed all of their incarnations and are now spending some time guiding humanity before they keep going on their little journey of ascension. Thank you so much, Michael. It's lovely to have you here. Everyone, go and follow Michael. He does beautiful healing for many hours every day. Like, he really... He is doing the Lord's work. <laughs> he also does have a very strong resemblance to Jesus. It is turning into a bit of a meme. <laughs> Hope you don't mind me saying that, Michael. What does 5D feel like? Ooh. Ooh, okay, 5D is living joyfully in the present moment and not being... Thank you so much, Michael. Thank you. Um, uh, yeah, so you're not stuck in the past or worried about the future. You're living joyfully in the present moment and you realise that you are like a tiny spark of electricity in a cable that is energy itself. You are... You're just a part of reality but you're, you're you're so connected to everything around you it's a very beautiful way to exist but there's only so much of um, fifth density that we can operate on while we are incarnated you can absolutely speak to your spirit guides yeah They are talking to you all the time, all the time. Literally every waking moment they're there if you, if you call on them. Thank you, Ruby. If you want to develop as a healer, start practicing Qigong. You'll develop energetic sensitivity. You'll be able to feel and manipulate the flow of energy. Thank you for the flowers. Hello, Ruby. How can you call on them? Hmm. Say, re repeat after me. I call upon my spirit guides, acting in my highest interest. 
I am open and receptive to any messages you may send to me. And then you can ask for specific messages like, um, if I am supposed to do this thing, can you send me uh, 333? You fell asleep, that's nice. Thank you for the soccer balls. Jack, you can absolutely close your eyes. Yes, Peyton Peoples Realtor, these do help with migraines. How to call on them? Just ask that they're present, okay? You can ask them for help, you can ask them for healing, you can ask them for suggestions. Like if you think about your typical prayer, quiet your mind and ask. If you really want to learn to communicate with them, the first step is meditation. I don't really have a Christmas jumper. I was wearing a jumper, but it got really hot. Elisa, yes, exactly. They love you and they're eager to help you. doesn't have to be a specific question, it can just be a general one. Why do people who are drawn to dark energy find me? Because you are a light and they are attracted to your light. But you can choose who to share your light with. Thank you, Emily. That's very kind. Oh, thank you, Michael. The little soccer ball is so cute. you think there's more suffering nowadays and why? Oh, there's always been a great deal of suffering. It's part of the deal when we come down here. We can't escape life without suffering. Uh, is there more suffering today? In some places, yes. In some places, no. Um, we're going through a massive shift in uh, in consciousness now the planetary consciousness is evolving and there's a lot of old energy from the oversouls of different countries that need to be cleared and unfortunately that is playing out in a lot of uh, violence someone says your aura is bright what does that mean it means your your aura your energy is healthy like dark or like grey colour tends to tends to indicate you you could be ill how to focus better ground your energy like I know I sound like a broken record at this point but practice qigong hi Stacy like nice to see you Can you determine your own aura's colour? Look, auras are kind of tricky to see for some people. I don't see them very well. I feel them much more than I, than I see them. I do see them occasionally. Um, try standing against a very white surface, like a white wall, or standing against a dark wall and you can kind of pick out what's going on. Hello, I, I'd, I'd love to make Michael a mod. I should definitely do that. How do I do that? <laughs> Hang on, I'm gonna see if I can do a thing. Moderators, oh my gosh, I'm doing a thing. Healing, yes, yes, I did it. <laughs> Wait, I think I did it. Did I do it? Okay, I think I did it. Yes, yes, I did it. Congratulations, Michael. <laughs> Nice one. You can teach yourself to see auras. As, as with all things, this, this takes practice. 
Um, Barbara Ann Brennan actually has somewhere in here how to see auras, or like there's a there's an exercise on seeing auras. Do do. Seriously, if if you are interested in energy healing, Hands of Light, Barbara Ann Brennan. It's such a great book. Look, I mean, she's she's going into parallels between how we see ourselves and reality and Western scientific views. She goes into Newtonian physics, field theory, relativity, paradox, hologram, like anything, anything you want really is in this book. Uh, I'll find the bit on seeing auras and have it ready for the next live. What is this called and how did I get into it? Oh, the book is called um, Hands of Light by Barbara Ann Brennan. Yeah, that's it. Hands of Light. To be honest, guys, I'm not super over all of the different colours. It's, um, I have a very general idea. I feel auras much better than I see them. I would love to do meet and greets. I, I'm sure I will one day. I would love to. I'd love to meet you guys in person. One of the things I'm really looking forward to, thank you Stacy for the rose, is um is being recognized. I, it's it's not going to happen for for a while cuz most of y'all are in the US and I'm in Australia. <laughs> but when it does, I'm going to literally my heart will burst. <laughs> exactly, Michael. Connecting with the third eye can help you see. Thank you for the roses, that's really kind. Thank you. How do you find out your aura? Well, there are a few different ways. If you want to strengthen your aura, then practice Qigong. It's a Chinese medical practice, uh, spiritual practice rather, although there is medical Qigong. Um, and this strengthens your, your energy. I astral project a lot. <laughs> I don't have a YouTube, well actually I do have a YouTube, but there's nothing on it right now because I'm not a very good internet person. I'll, I'll get on it. It's 2.22 in the UK. Go to bed. <laughs> Go to sleep. This is Qi healing. This isn't Qigong. Thank you for those little soccer balls, guys. Do I believe in crystals? Yes. They're wonderful tools for, for so many things. Oh my gosh. Thank you, Kaylee. Chi healing. Yes, it is lovely. We can't sleep if you're on. That's very kind. But I would prefer it if you got your well-deserved rest. Thank you, Marissa. Thank you. What time is it in Australia? What is it? It's 23 past one in the afternoon. We're gonna get a Christmas tree and we're gonna hang it up today. Yay. And I'm gonna make fruit mince pies. Thank you, Stacy. Rest is good, yeah. Hi Katie, I'll see you later. When am I back on? Look, I'm trying to go live every day. It depends how many clients I have. I can do about three-ish hours of healing a day before I start to get really tired. Hi Cardi from Melbourne. I'm moving to Melbourne soon. I'm very excited. Do you need a housemate? <laughs> Self-doubt? Yeah, absolutely. Your third eye is tingling. Good, you'll be able to see your aura. <laughs> Hello from the UK. Hello. 
Hello. There we go. Why do we drink water? Oh, yes, no, I love I love responding to to your your, your comments. It, it makes me happy. I'm here to educate and to help. Um, I try and get everyone to drink water after the healing because it, like, water is a natural cleanser in and of itself. My energy healings tend to be quite intense, so <laughs> uh, it helps um, flush out anything that you were holding on to. Yeah, you can be seeing your aura around your fingers, absolutely. You just got stuck in your hoodie. <laughs> oh no. Don't get stuck, please. <laughs> yeah, look, I live in Tasmania. The water here is amazing. It's very nice. Okay, tap water everywhere. Not so much. Hello from Mexico. Hello! My brother was just in Mexico. Someone watching in traffic, please don't listen to healing or have healing while you're driving. Although I suppose if you're stuck in gridlock, it's not going to do much except relax you. The fine line between science and spirit, I think they're merging and when they do, that's going to be a big moment for us. Like some of the recent advancements in quantum physics is exactly what the Eastern mystics have been saying for thousands of years. From the Netherlands, hello, welcome. Thank you for the gifts and the likes, everyone. It's very kind. Quantum entanglement, yeah, it's fascinating. I mean, that's how this healing is working, basically. <laughs> Thank you for the roses, Natasha. for the donut. Samantha, yes, I do feel negative energy. I am trying very hard to choose not to engage in it or let it affect my own energy. Have I ever been to a healing retreat? No. I would love to go. How does it feel when I get a donut? Very yummy. <laughs> it's my opinion on deities. They are real. They are forms of energy and we can and do work with them. Hello from the Philippines. Hello from Sweden. Hello. That is very kind of you, Trin. How do we tip? Woof. The link is in my bio for tips, guys. If you feel like you've gotten something out of today's session, then I would very greatly appreciate it. But you don't have to. From Washington, hello, Katie, welcome. Where am I based? I'm in Australia. I'm in Australia, mate. How we doing? <laughs> uh, Albania, hello. Yeah, deities are interesting. They're archetypal primal energies. We can do amazing healing work with them. I work with Lilith 
and uh, Athena Sekhmet. Eleanor, like drinking, uh, I mean, it's a very low vibrational substance, alcohol, but as long as you don't have too much and you're in a safe environment, then it's not going to hurt you in the long run. Hello. No, so my, my dad was born in Iran, Michael, um, and my mum was born in England. My dad was a... A refugee, he was in the 1979 revolution in Iran, spent a few years in jail, horrible things happened, but he escaped out of a bathroom window and he, um, he got to Istanbul. My mum was teaching English as a foreign language and he would sit in the back of her classes pining after her. It's a very tall, blonde English lady. That's how we met. Lilith isn't evil. Nothing, I mean, evil and, like, good and evil don't really exist. They're, it's a part of yin and yang. Lilith is the embodiment of the divine feminine, and the divine feminine has been massively demonized for the last couple of thousand years. <laughs> Thanks, Michael, yeah. It is a, it is a fun story. Who is Lilith? Lilith is a pagan deity. She, I think in like the biblical terms, she was the first wife of Adam, but she refused to be um, below him. She wanted to be equal, so she was kicked out or something. <laughs> Which honestly is icon behavior. We stand. Never submit to a man. <laughs> hello, hello. You work with Lilith as well? Yeah, she's wonderful energy. Of course I believe in Jesus. He's here in the chat. No, I'm kidding. Sorry, Michael. That's always going to be a meme. Um, no, Jesus was, was, is, uh, the Christ consciousness is this wonderful loving energy that is available to everyone. I don't, I'm not really, um affiliated with any particular religion but i do work with a few ascended masters and archangels or the uh, architects of our reality if you like i believe muhammad was a prophet islam is a very beautiful religion all religions have uh, aspects that they've gotten right. <laughs> Ryan, how did I know this? This path was destined for me. Ooh. It called me. It made me happy. It took a lot of courage to come out and do it. I mean, I was a skeptic for most of my life. Not anymore. <laughs> Hecate, yeah, I've heard about her. I think you can find a lot of value in the lessons from religions. If I was to affiliate, it would probably be some kind of Taoism. Probably. Oh my goodness, thank you. <laughs> the American accent, yeah. I went through a period of time where I had a really bad RSI and I couldn't type and I had to dictate all of my uni notes and I had to talk in an American accent to make the dictation machine understand me and it was like so weird but it like worked so much better. <laughs> Any deities I suggest not to get in contact with? I mean... It's very rare that they're just going to randomly come into your energy if you don't ask them to be there. Oh yeah, the American accent. That's fun. Dogwood vet, you're sensitive to negative energy. Possible to change theirs. No. 
No, don't try and change anybody's energy without their consent. All you can do is protect your own energy, okay, from theirs. Tyra, it's probably not a great, um, <laughs> it's probably not a great approximation of the accent, to be honest. Uh, so, um, you probably don't sound like that. migraine's gone that's amazing i'm so glad do i get energized or drained after a healing session that's a great question depends whether i have the energy um to give i suppose although it's not my energy i'm just channeling it so mm. um it depends if i overdo it i'll feel really tired and i'll honestly need to sleep if I'm in a good place and I'm healthy, then I feel great afterwards. I feel really peaceful. I feel balanced. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. I love you too. I have so much love in my heart for all of you. My horses feel so healing. Well, you've probably worked with them a lot in your past lives. And also, uh, horses, so all animals have like an oversoul. And horses uh, have a very particular kind of energy that's very comforting. Oh, thank you, I like my pride flag too. Let's give it a wave. Everyone, you're about to be cleansed. Congratulations. <laughs> okay, we'll put her back now. Oh, yeah, I can't see. That's better. So now it's all weird. Ah! Shouldn't have waved. Yes, I should. Now it's perfect. Hooray. <laughs> Social anxiety and borderline personality disorder. Ooh. No, I don't. Um, Social anxiety. I have an anxiety playlist. BPD? No. Jen, that's amazing. I'm glad. I'm glad it's helping you. Good morning. Hello. Thanks for the little likes, everybody. They're coming up as, as soccer balls, which is really cute. We love to see it. What's the pride flag for? Well, I am part of the LGBTQI+, and I like representing um, I like representing us and any other uh, minorities being discriminated against. Someone's saying their energy was stolen. Just realize you have um, more power than you think you'll do and you can protect your energy. The only way people can take your energy is if you let them. Yes, pride flag, very good. Yes, history is gay. It's very good. I looked it up. It's very fun. Hi from NZ. Hello. But the movements tickle, yes. Yeah, I've had a few requests. People asking me to do uh, healing for the spicy cough, the COVID. I'm very reluctant to do that. Could it help? Yeah. Absolutely. There are acupuncture points that are designed to help the energy flow move where you need it to, especially in cases of COVID. Um, the thing is, there's no science backing it up, and TikTok slams down hard on misinformation. I'm really scared that if I do a healing for it, they're going to think and ban my account or something. What am I doing? I'm doing chi healing. It's a form of energetic healing. 
It's sending universal life force energy throughout time and space. All you need to do is consent, and the energy will be sent to your magnetic field. Dealing with a draining parent, oh, that's, that's tough. That is tough. You have to have very strong barriers around your energy. Mm. You have COVID and you feel better. I'm really glad. I'm glad it's helping you. Oh, thank you, Jessa. Thank you. Is it possible that I'm a spirit guide? I think I'm here to help guide. Yeah, no, I, I am here to help guide. I am reasonably far. Uh, I'm, I'm far along the path towards um, my final incarnation. I'd say I'm about a level nine or level 10. There's about 10 levels, okay? Around 10. I incarnated to help heal and raise the vibrational frequency of the planet. So technically we're all gay and not gay simultaneously. Lol. You have end stage kidney disease. I'm so sorry. It can certainly alleviate some suffering, okay? This is chi healing. That's good, Boca Loca. You don't need to be gay. Everyone is accepted here with love. No one, no one is forcing you to be gay. <laughs> no one has ever, ever wanted that for anybody. <laughs> the difference between chi healing and reiki healing they're very similar they're different modalities under an umbrella of energy medicine oh boko boko loka um i was like <laughs> someone commented a joke i think and i just repeated it i didn't <laughs> i didn't mean it <laughs> I would never ever tell anybody what their orientation is. It's something for them to discover themselves. Any good book recommendations? If you haven't read The Time Traveler's Wife, it's a good one. It's all good, Boca Loca. We're chillin'. I do do lives regularly. Do I do them at a regular time? Mm, no, not at the moment. I will set a regular time. Can I help with depression? Yeah. KG Brown, thank you for the panda. should set times I know um, I will my uh, my schedules a bit all over the place at the moment I tend to just go live when I have time um, yeah no these are these are red Jasper oh KG Brown thank you that's so sweet thank you Sarah thank you for the gifts I may be doing something special for the winter solstice well, it's a summer solstice over here. Uh, I'll probably jump into the ocean and set my intentions. All right, guys, I think I'm gonna finish up for the afternoon. I can feel it hitting a little. Ah, it's time to stop. Um, oh, Barbara Ann Brennan, Hands of Light. Uh, thank you so much for for being here. It's um, it's lovely to connect with your energy. 
I will set more regular times to go live. But yes, uh, catch me the next time. And um, yeah, it's, it's truly wonderful to connect with you all. I'll see you later.